Hey folks, Zacharus here. In this video, I just want to show and demonstrate this kind of love cultivation technique that, or just the same love cult cultivation technique that I've been teaching about or showing about, but this time just a little deeper with my own little twist that's been working for me. So first of all, the importance of bringing love into ourselves, especially at these times, in these challenging times that we're facing collectively as well as individually. It's quite understated. I don't feel hardly anybody really realises how important it is to be bringing love energy in, into ourselves in order to essentially cleanse and heal and mend those parts of ourselves that are keeping us in these lower vibrational states. I mean, this applies to not everybody, but I would say the majority of people in general, we're all going for a lot internally at the moment. And that's being reflected to us out in the external as well. Like there's a lot of chaotic things going on. But again, there's also a lot of calm and relaxing and peaceful things going on as well. So it really depends on what kind of vibration you're offering at any particular moment as to which kind of aspect of reality you're tuning into. So the importance of this love cultivation is so we, I did videos a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, explaining these love cultivation techniques and stuff. I've been a bit lax because for the past couple of weeks or so, I something came up for me. I got a bit knock, knocked off course and just started not so much focusing on myself as I was before and instead kind of going into my head a lot more and yeah I started sludging myself back down again my vibration went down low for a while uh, but the past couple of days I've really just been like right completely back to myself like completely focused on myself because ultimately you can't help anybody else unless you're helping yourself first so as long as you fill your own cup first then you're able to start filling other people's cups as well so this love cultivation technique Again, it's the same practice It's the practice that Brad Johnson has shared called the BCR technique, which stands for breath work, calm, and then reinforcement. The idea being you start off, I've kind of adapted it to my own, the way I want to do things in regards to it and what work, what's been working for me, what's been effective, because there'll be times when I want to bring in love energy, uh, but it's it doesn't always come straight away. It's like I need to work on it and act like actually put energy and effort into <laughs> completely transforming my heart, basically, in that moment, like transforming in terms of raising its frequency up and bringing in that golden white love frequency. So, yeah, of course, hands on heart, both hands on heart, and just beginning by... Beginning by... Um, just breathing in three times and out three times, so. And even doing these free in, free out, you can do the visualization of the rays of light, golden rays of light coming in to your heart center from all angles, not necessarily just on your windpipe, but from all angles simultaneously. And out, you can let that in expand within your chest. So we've done the three, three breaths, three deep breaths, and now I'm feeling calm. I'm in this calm state. And now I'm just going to cultivate a smile. I'm just going to smile, and instantly that's going to start telling my physiological self, my physical body, it's going to start reprogramming the cells on a hmm, subatomic, subatomic energetic level in that way to start smiling in tandem with this, with this smile. So I smile, my cells smile, the whole of me smiles. Great little placebo that works because placebo does work on this planet. So <laughs> smiling and now I'm just going into this visualization phase. This is, this is the last step essentially is just creating this environment for yourself as an individual and what works for you that brings and cultivates that love within you so something that i've been experimenting with and has been working very well 
is picture yourself in a setting. It can be any kind of setting that appeals to you most. It could be a meadow. It could be on a boat in the sea. It could be on a mountain top. It could be. It could be in a forest. It could be just about anywhere that you personally resonate with the idea of. For me, I quite like a big valley with hills, almost mountains either side, rolling hills either side, and this large valley or vale where there's just green grass all around me and like hedgerows and some trees around, but I'm in this large open field of grass and the grass varies in length depending on where I am at in my subconscious visualising or conscious visualising, bit of both. And so I just almost picture myself in almost like a white robe and sometimes I'll be walking along on this meadow, not completely flat meadow but there's like a slight gradient to the whole field and I'm walking along, the sun's shining, this blue sky, there's some clouds got a smile on my face and beside me are two deer as in roe deer as in red deer you know your common deer with antlers like a stag female deer as well and the the stag and the deer they're, they're there and they're at peace with me and I'm at peace with them and I have a really strong affinity with them for some reason I just really like the energy of the animal and there will also be birds as well, perhaps landing on my shoulder, even on my head, and just chirping at me and in a really loving, kind of playful way. And then, and then at one point, I'll just start floating off. Instead of walking, I'll just start flying. I'll just start flying, and I just feel so free. And for me personally, that's what's been working for me is because I've been wanting to feel free recently within myself in general. And I am feeling more free now, and I, I am free. <laughs> I am in that vibration. And so that's really been helping me feel and get into that happiness state of my personal pure happiness. And this flying is lovely. It's like the birds will be there with me, and I'll just be enjoying it. I'll be ha having fun with it. And that has just been so powerful. And so the deer will be there, the birds will be there, and then at some point I might choose to come and land and like lie on my back and then puppies will come up and start licking my face and I'll be like, I'll be loving that, <laughs> that'll be really good. And then what else have we got? Yeah, those are the main three animals at the moment. Um, I don't generally include people in my visualizations uh, for some reason. Some people will, some people, if you've got that really, if you've got that person in your life, that really conjures that kind of happiness within you uh, and doesn't have anything harsh attached to it, perhaps, or whatever uh, for you personally, what works well for you in that regard. Um, but recently I haven't had anybody in my visualizations. I have uh, the old person, but yeah, what else? Yeah, flying around. It's just been really nice in that regard. Now, the interesting thing about this process as well is like when doing this visualization and I feel the happiness is great, it's really good. But then sometimes I'll be doing this visualization, particularly at the start after I've just, just done the free breaths and calm and, and going into it and I've got that smile. Sometimes I will come into this process of being in a bit of a heavier vibration. And in those times I find it's, a real challenge to raise my vibration up. I can literally feel my heaviness. It's like, oh, and then the feeling of smiling, like, like you, or like trying to like, trying to raise my vibration. It almost physically hurts. I don't know if I can imagine other people, please let me know in the comments if you've tried something like this, where you've tried to bring yourself up and it's like physically hurt while trying to bring in a higher frequency into yourself. Now, the reason for this, of course, is because of the heaviness that we're feeling within. The heaviness is, we're trying to raise it up, but the heaviness is still keeping us there. And it will come to a point where that heaviness, the more love energy you put in, 
it will breach past the heaviness and the heaviness will start to be reduced as the love energy increases. It's almost mm -hmm. like the love energy is coming in and coating that heaviness and shrinking it in that way. Um, and then sometimes I'll go into this process and it will be like, yeah, sometimes I'll go into this process and it'll be like straight away, I'll have the smile on my face and I'll feel like nine out of 10 happy and loving like straight away and I'll be like, yes, this is easy. I'm already there kind of thing in that vibratory state. But yeah, um, as I said, like the, uh, the concept, the idea, the practice of bringing in love into yourself, cultivating it, it sounds like a very, it can sound like a very kind of like woo woo thing, like a very like, that's such a, I don't know what stereotype people might even choose to put on that. It's a very, Yeah, I'm not even going to try and judge it. It's just not serving. It's not serving. It just is what it is. It's the most love is the antidote for the pain that you are feeling. If you're feeling depressed for whatever reason, if you've been going through a long term spell of depression, if it's been a short term spell of depression, if it's if you're just feeling at odds with something in your life that's dragging you down on that day, and we all go through these days, don't we? Like, there's no denying it. Every single person will have a day when they're feeling really down. Sometimes they'll know what the reason is. Sometimes they won't. But yeah, the love cultivation is the cure. Being able to make yourself happy, being able to choose your vibration in any particular moment because you have the power and the choice and the willpower and the free will to be able to choose how you want to feel in any particular moment, regardless of circumstances. Yeah, circumstances do not dictate vibration. Vibration dictates circumstances loose not accurate quote from Bashar there anyway yeah love work for yourself powerful important understated recommended <laughs> for everybody for everybody anyway thank you very much for watching and much love to you all I uh, hope you've had a great week and I hope you have another great week coming. And despite the harshness that many people are feeling right now, keep going. Stay strong. It will get better. It will get easier. But in the interim, you know what's going to help if you are feeling heavy for whatever reason? Do it. Do that love exercise. Powerful. Don't just do it once though. Do it as frequently as you possibly can throughout the day. To one, at least once a day. Twice a day is great. Three times a day is awesome if you have the time. It doesn't take long. 15, between 10 to 20 minutes tops, depending on how long you want to give it until you feel you're at that point where you're happy with your practice for that, for that session. And do it every day. I'm not just giving lip service here. It's important to do, especially if you're a light worker who's looking to enlighten themselves. Enlighten. Lighten your load. Love is the answer. It is the cure. Thanks again. Much love. Bye-bye.